my name is reema and today we are going from automation anywhere and how we can handle macro error so uh, this uh, we are going to automate to automation in skill sixty. so let's go to automate this one i will create one folder here and i will make the name as macro okay and uh, yeah so here uh, first uh, to automate any macro uh, first thing is like the uh, first thing is like that macro should be on your desktop right so what we need to do i have already created a macro here and you can see here i have already created a macro here and how we can handle uh, error inside the macro, like how we can write an error, syntax error inside the macro. Like suppose your macro is failing anywhere. So how we can handle those errors? How we can get to that error? Uh, how we can get so how we can handle that error and how we can pass that macro error uh, to the automation area. So for that, what you need, let's let's go to the view. Let's go to the view and here in the macro, view macro, edit. So see here, inside my macro, I have handled uh, error. Suppose anywhere throughout this code, inside this, like throughout this code, if any error is happening, in that case, it will come into this error, like handler part. So to handle the error inside the macro, you need this code, this error handling code on error go to label okay and we suppose inside this code like after that we need to add this active stuff and uh, all the sets of code we need to put inside this error handling before exit stuff and after this or uh, an error go to level so once suppose anywhere throughout this code if it is failing that it will come inside this it will exit from the sub it will come inside this label it will search like if this label if it search the label here level uh like it will match the label and it will come inside is error number so uh what will happen if any error is coming that that error number some, some error number like some value is assigned to the error number okay so we are checking that if error number is not zero okay it's like it will always greater, uh, greater than zero so if it is not zero then what we are doing i have created one variable for error message like i want to check what is the error message okay and uh, what is the error number so i have a store into the these two variables so how we can get this error to the automation, okay? So how we can do that, for that, what I have done, in the same macro file, in the same macro file, you can see this is my macro file, in the same macro file, in the sheet one, I have created this one. At the A cell one, like I have created one header to the error message. At A2, A2, I'm going to save error description, and at A3, I'll save error number, okay? And how we can do that, for that, I have added this line of code. So see, sheet one, A2, location, I'm just adding error description, a, a to see like sheet one, this macro itself, this macro I'm saying, this macro in sheet one, I'm setting at A3 error number, okay? Let's run. So here I have, like what I'm doing in this macro, basically I'm opening one Excel file. See, this is the location of the Excel file. And uh, this is the Excel file. I'll open this Excel file. So, uh, so see, at this location, this Excel file is there. Only I'm opening and closing this file. So uh, suppose if I rename this file name, and rename this file name that means our macro will try to open get user response excel file at this location but at this location it will not find this excel file what it will do it will fail at this point and it will come inside here okay and once it will come inside here it will try this error description at a2 and uh, she uh, like uh, the error number at a3 so how the automation will check like like this VB is having error on after the execution of this macro. Let's check this one. And let's check what is the function name. The function name is macro one. Let's use this one. Let's go back to the automation and create one task. Macro. Macro calling. Okay. So inside the macro column, and macro is an Excel, right? So, so in Excel package, let's go to the Excel package, and first, what we need to open that Excel file. 
first we will open the actual file with macro actual file we need to open the macro actual file so let's provide the path so path of this file is let's put the path here to delete double quote from here okay and nothing uh, so we are directly opening this file there's no headers there's no sheet name. i'm not going to provide any sheet name and the session is default okay and open this one and i'll also use the close command both are having the same session name so here i'm opening only the x uh, the macro file then what we need to do we need to call that we need to call the macro the vba okay so for that here run macro command is run macro command let me try yeah here you can see run macro so by using this command it will run the macro so here we need to provide the macro name so what macro name we are we have to provide so this is the macro name the function name macro one okay so I'll copy the same name. Let's copy the name from macro and go to the operation. Put the function name here. And in my case, I'm not passing any argument. I'm not passing any argument to macro. So I'm not assigning anything anything here, right? Okay. So uh so by uh, like we have added three line of code we are opening the macro we are running the function and we are closing it but how we can check like our macro is failed or uh, like run uh, successfully for that like it will check this cell number in this macro after running the macro it will check at this a2 and a3 position it like this field is empty or not if it is empty that means like this macro has scripted successfully. If it is not empty, that means this macro failed somewhere. So let's add this code. So let's, after running this one, let's get the value of cell A2 and A3 inside the actual advanced command. Get single cell value, it's basically cell at A2. Let's check A2 value. A2, uh, like at A2 position, we are storing the error description value get the value and uh, I'll put VBA error macro. Okay, I'll I'll get the value from the A2 and I'll explore into this variable VB error, error message. Let's display a message after closing the macro or before closing the macro I'll display the message VBA error message. Okay. Let's see if error is clear or not in the macro. I'll close this macro and I'll run the bot. Okay. Let's run the bot. So this session is basically for how we are calling the macro and how we will check like this macro is executed successfully or not. Or suppose if anywhere like macro failed, then what is the error description? Yeah, you can see object required error we found like somewhere or uh, uh, this macro failed. So here uh, like uh, uh, we got the message in automation, like this macro got filled. After closing this one, it will close the Excel file also. So suppose if I'll rename this file, if I'll rename the file, and same file, it is searching inside the VBA, right? Let's see if we will get the uh, uh, error message or not again. Okay, uh, let me check if it is cleaning the A2 and A3 position or not. I will go to the macro. I will check. I will go to the view. Edit. And I will check at A2 and A3 position. It is cleaning. 
one second. Let me check if it is running or not. Manually also you can run your macro. So here you can see after clicking it, it is cleaning the value. Let's check if it's cleaning or not. So it cleaned A2 and A3. Initially it will clean A2 and A3 before doing anything, any steps. And then let's see after, let, let, you can press F8. Okay, it failed here. The bot is not able to get this value. Uh, like bot is not able to find the, this uh, file. So let's see. Get response is there. Let me copy this exact file name. Copy and start. Yeah, I'll, I'll drag and drop this. Here and press F8. Okay, objective is required. It is saying so. Here I have made some mistake. Yeah, let's press F8. Yeah, it is working fine now. So let's close here and then see. Save this one. Close this one. You can see we haven't received any kind of error. Let's run this bot. Let's run this bot. And let's see if we are getting error or not because we have provided a correct path. I have made a mistake like I have added, uh, uh, like I have added wrong code inside the VBA. That is the reason it was failing. Okay, now it will not fail. Initially, it will empty the A2 and A2 cell value and then it will run the other steps. Okay, uh, run this one. Yeah, see, error message is zero, like nothing. Is empty. It will close the extension. Yeah. Yeah. So this is all about how we can call the macro function and how we can get the error message from the macro. Okay. So you have any query on this session, like uh, how we can, like how we can call the macro and how we can get the error message, how we can handle the error inside the VBA. So just ping me and just message me over my channel. I'll respond to you. Thanks for watching this video.